bad. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. Thursday. Right? Today is Thursday. Um, so, uh, you, you sometimes travel to different places for work? Do you travel to other provinces sometimes? What kind of writing do you write? Uh, traveling or uh, politics? Before. Interesting. Work together, yeah, yeah, work together as a team, and you are one of the team. So you are oh, you're one of the team. So um, so are you? So you still say you're not no longer writing now, right? Are you still writing? Now. So, um, so you you are a writer, they say. Yeah, you can say you are a writer, right? Do you like to write? Do you like to? Oh, uh, do you have a a web page where you can you can write? No. no Block or something. Okay. Right. A few years ago. Now you are at home, working f and working with your family, right? Uh, so talking about women' rights um, in Thailand, what what do you concern most? Right? What issues that you think? Uh, about women right what oh, yeah right. yeah women right you what what do you want to improve in, in Thailand about women right About controlling about about uh, abortion. Do you know abortion? Uh, abortion. Abortion. Abortion means um, they don't want the baby sometime, and then they want to oh, see. Yes. It should be a choice, right? It should be a choice for women. Yeah. Um, abortion, when 
they are pregnant and they are not ready right, to have a family. So do you support you support um, abortion, right? Okay, but do you know any any um, update about Thai law about abortion? Is it illegal or il illegal? Is it? Is is it illegal uh, for um, teenager? Is it legal? Oh, it's it's legal. Legal. It's legal. It's legal. Uh, uh, for uh, okay, it's legal. F uh, legal for minors. Do you know minors? Minors are minors are under eighteen, young. Minors. Minors. So. Oh, yeah, yes, minors. A person under the age of a full legal responsibility, so they are they are allowed to go for abortion, right? Because they're too young. Okay. Right. Not for. Adult, adult would be illegal, right? Uh, okay, against the law. Ah, okay, I against the law, right? Against the law. Oof, yeah. And in the West, uh, in France, in in Ireland, uh, it's legal to, yeah, right? Even they are adult. Okay, all right. Anyway, <laughs> a little bit of um, social issue, right? I issue about about issues. Issue. Okay. Now, all right. And we go. And this hour, I'm going to talk about the topic is this. Is it? It's about demonstrative, right? pronoun types and we use yeah we use them every day actually okay you see uh, can you open up page number two right so we use them every day yes their users in everyday, so they are in everyday or daily conversational English. Okay, and then we go to page number three. Okay, so there are different kind of a music, right, or types. Not type. I would say. Z do you know the word genre? Genre mean types or kind. Uh, I'll type it to you. Actually, I have type it to you. What? What? Okay. What zone? What you can say genre or genre? It's a French. It's a French word. <laughs> it's it's originally from French. French. It, they're borrowed from French words. So, what genre of music do you like? The first question then. Does it? Uh, how does listening to music help you to be? Yeah, help you. Yeah, help your mood. Yeah, help help your mood or your yeah. How how.
it it can help you uh, to uh, it gives you good energy, right? It helped you to yeah, good energy, the, the energy, the rhythm or the melody from the music, right? So you like pop, right? Okay, pop and rock. Hmm, rock, yeah. Okay, I like pop. Yeah, pop. And jazz too, sometimes. Jazz, yeah. I, I listen to jazz all the time. Yeah, yeah. Just, for, just go to YouTube and sometimes just play that music for hours. Yeah, jazz. Okay, number two, right? Can you answer question number two, please? Um, my uh, favorite performer, Thai, Thai performer, Thai all international band singers, uh, artists from Hollywood. Yeah. Ooh. What? Uh, yeah. Who? BG Heaven or BG B I like BG. I know a few uh, BG and B the Beatles music. Uh, they are very class. It's just not not classical, but it, they are very. They go. F yeah, they were famous now still. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Any, yeah, any particular song that you like to listen to? Particular song uh, of BG, maybe. Too much heaven. Oh, I like I, I used to sing in karaoke <laughs> and this one. <laughs> mm. You have to practice. I, 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 well, I did not badly, but not, not now. <laughs> Before, long time ago. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. So BG and in, uh, any, how about Thai 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 performer or band or singers? Uh, do you have any uh, Thai? Thai Thai singer. Satam ah the is ah oh, he used to be a coach on uh, a singing contest is it uh, uh, oh, the voice Thailand voice Thailand ah oh, he's very good The tone, the poem, the tone and uh, the rhythm. Okay, all right, and okay, let's go to number three, please. You just answer, actually. From seventy, ninety, is it? Nine, ninety, ninety, eighty. Okay, so um, mus mus musician from other country, and perf 
performer. How about including actors and actresses? Any f favorite actors or actresses that you admire? Rachel McAdam, a uh, Hollywood star? Yes, I mean, uh, uh, Good Lord, yes. I like uh, Oh, I liked... Uh, the Notebook is one of my favorite uh, oh. drama. Yeah. Not Rachel. Is she Rachel? Rachel, no. Rachel, yeah. Rachel, okay. Um, I, my... F uh, any favorite actor? Yes. About about time. About time. Yes. About time. Uh, okay. My my favorite actors would be uh, the one who uh, doc the one who star Doctor Strange Cumberbatch Cumberbatch Doctor Strange uh, the Marvel uh, series and. I have many actors. I I I have a few, uh -huh. a few favorite ones. Anyway, uh, question number four. It depends on my mood, right? It oh, depends on your mood. Okay, right. A little bit of a grammar. It's not complic. It's not difficult. It is something that you you might want to try and to um, use them, right? T t try to use them. So ty types of pronoun. Okay, can you can you uh, explain it to me, please? Page, yeah, yes. This, that, these, those. Okay. That's only four, right? Only four. Do you know? Yes. Yeah, some. Do you use them often? Okay, so yeah, this is is used for singular, right? And that singular, but far away. Okay, and these are indicator, right? Okay, indicator number f uh, slide number five, please. Right. 
do you um do you know how to use them okay uh okay let me explain to you so these are non specific things mean um they are they they are not um indicating any particular things or person right so uh now can you try to to use uh can you try to use them making a sentence one one sentence each Everybody wants to be happy, right? Okay. And nobody to talk to this day, right? Good, good sentence, okay. Any, uh, okay, I'll help you. S okay, there, there are several, uh, several client. Okay, there, there were several, several client today at my office, for example. Customer. Okay, uh, relative to pronouns. Join sentence, yes, yeah. To join to to you add more information uh, for the sentence, yeah. So you join the sentence together, and you use by using this relative pronoun. I mean, uh, the pronoun use in the sentence is uh, related to the previous person. Uh, they they link together the information. So uh, the first sentence uh, have the information, and you want to add more information. But who, she, uh, no, who, which, uh, indicate that indicate to the previous person, right? Instead. Okay, and you have a look more examples here. Yeah. Okay. Can you read the example, please? Okay, so these are demonstrative pronouns, right? color choices for dresses right for the dresses and here is the information you requested for right okay and 
I should have a look indefinite pronouns. Seven student passed the entry test. Okay, and let's have a look. Relative. What's the name of the woman whose phone I borrow? borrow, borrow yeah. Okay, a uh, very quick uh, quiz, short quiz. Five sentences. Let's join the two sentences together by using uh, relative pronouns. Business or businessman. Oh, <laughs> okay. okay. Her brother who is a businessman. Very intelligent. Okay, very intelligent. Yeah? Okay. Intelligent. intelligent. Okay, good. Number two, please. Okay, not really. Who, who teaches at my school? Yes. Okay. Okay. That feels sad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's not easy. Yeah, please. This is the sentence that I was talking about. Uh, uh, number five. My school where is in my school where is in downtown Beijing. Okay. Number four, I you can you can delete it, I think. The last uh -huh. it doesn't sound doesn't sound natural so I don't think it is it should be there okay it yeah okay. it's just a talking about yeah that's what I talking about okay so reading is actually um, I assume you have read okay can you okay you don't have to read now can you um, uh, Tell can you tell me in the short version by your own word, please? Okay, so it's about uh, the personality, or d d what is it? It's about different, different kind, d different people react differently. Uh, 
right? Okay. Uh, okay. Mm. We go to the last. Uh, not the last the comprehension check. Okay. Okay. Can you summarize in five sentences, please? Oh, that. Ah, oh, that. Okay. No, no. no. Okay. I. Mm, I. Th I. I was actually I was asking you to to you know to tell the story. But anyway, summarize fine. Done. Okay, we go to number th two. So, uh, mm, I'm not sure. Uh, so, let me ask you more. So, um, the father wants to uh, wants to prove that uh, how how coffee coffee represent what protect. Ah, okay. Uh, I think it's potato. Uh -huh. Potato kind of uh, in English it means uh, uh, look uh, for more good heart, personality, but when uh, they face the problem, then uh, they became yeah. fragile, weak, fragile and weak, and so, so. Potato look look hard, but when it, yeah. it is boiled, then it is soft, right? Fragile, it becomes soft. okay. And egg. Okay, they, they, okay, they are strong, right? When they have to experience problems, they have to face face problem issue. Uh, okay. Hmm. Yes. What extent? You mean um, how much do you agree, or oh, okay. uh, about the story? How, how, yeah. So oh, can you, yeah. I I really agree with the the moral in this story. Just uh, they they told uh, life in happen around us. So what matter is what we have learned f about it, okay? Okay, that is what matters, right? Is it more? Okay. Um, 
Number four, um, how can you apply this example in your life? How do you adapt or use it in your life by this example? So you you would prefer yeah. to you prefer coffee bean, right? Yes. So coffee bean has the creativity, right? And also egg too. <laughs> uh, yeah, egg, yeah, egg. Yeah. Eggs egg become egg. stronger, stronger. Okay. Creativity. Um. So you want to be like a coffee bean. Uh, create more creative and strong. Mentally, do you know mentally strong? Mentally. To train, ah, to train my mind, like your mind, to be mentally, emotionally, oh, oh, oh. emotionally, mental, mental, mental is, is about, is mental. We don't, we don't have in Thai word. Let's say, uh, it's, it's like emotion. It's almost like emotion. Uh, mental is the, the, the strain of the brain, the the, uh, the adaptation is called resilient, resilient. Okay, uh, yeah, mentally, emotionally. Let me type you this word. It's very useful too. I think for me, uh, I'll 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 give this word to the coffee bean and creative too resilience okay resilience um right so um any particular okay we d okay let's go to uh, exercise a little bit um okay uh, type you can say verbally, okay. The sentence, please oh. read the full sentence. These your clothes, okay. Uh, that girl over there is my that girl, okay. I can tell what she tell me. I can tell that he okay, he's happy, okay. You see those birds over there, okay? Uh, did you write this song? Mm hmm. My friend gets this gift to me. Uh, these, right? Uh, the, the, the S and E is sound Z, right? Okay. These, these. These. Yeah. It's. Yeah, the vowel is a, the vowel is a little bit longer than this. This is very short and chaff. This book, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, 
these okay these books okay good um a little bit more challenging um but not beyond your capability okay the last page Is empty is ending in it. Okay. Okay. She has nobody to talk to. She she feel lonely. Uh, she has not. Okay. She, uh, uh, she, she has nobody. Yeah, nobody. Don't have s something, anything. Do you know anything? Anything? To mm, something. I think it's anything because, uh, because anything use a uh, negative. I don't. But I have something to do. Is is a, a statement? Okay. But I think it's. Yeah, so she has. Is uh, it? Yeah, yeah. You use anything with a uh, negative, uh, negative model like don't, doesn't. Uh, but something is not. It's not positive. It's just neutral, like okay. neutral, neutral. Yeah. Okay. And do you know the meaning of aimless? Do you know aim, ta target, and less? It means the opposite, right? So, uh, I feel aimless means I feel I have no goal or target to go. So, for example, um, do you know the, the adverb of aimless? Ad 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 adverb. Of endless. Endlessly, right? Can can you make a sentence of endlessly? Oof, that's hard. Okay. Well, it's good sentence. It, uh, yeah, it's it's grammatically correct. Like, uh, he is working aimlessly. Like, no, no, uh, no direction. You know, direction where to go. There's no, no goal. So, aimlessly. Okay. Okay. Number four, please. Anywhere is yeah, Anywhere. it's negative yeah, a negative any. But sometimes you can s say anywhere you can go. I can't find them. No, can't find them nowhere. Nowhere it should be in the first sentence. Anyway, it is anywhere. Okay, anywhere. Negative. Six. Do you know somebody? Do you know somebody? somebody. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you know? Hey, do you know somewhere? Okay, somebody. I think. Yeah, somewhere is a little bit. Yeah, maybe asking. For example, do you know? No. Do you know anybody? I don't know anybody in Spain. Uh, do you know somebody? Do you know somebody? Yes. Yeah. Somebody 
yes. Okay, number eight. Someone or somebody. Somebody. Hey, uh, do you know? That there is no someone. Uh, I actually, I think, I think it's someone, but there, there isn't one of, it isn't one of the choices. Okay, and uh, I kept my phone on the table, but no, not nobody, nowhere. It should be s somebody or someone, okay? Um, somebody is more... Uh, someone is a little bit formal, a little bit formal, okay? But somebody is more closer, the relationship. Uh, for example, um, you, you would use with your friend uh, um, s somebody somebody in in the toilet somebody is in the toilet uh, is is closed somebody is in the toilet uh, please come back later uh, and and then you this is used among friends but you can use someone yeah you don't know Somebody, but somebody is more. Uh, I don't know. It's more. Let it's more. Uh, it's. Do you know the word in intimacy? Uh, it's intimacy. Intimacy means you have a closer relationship, and and everybody is know everybody. So someone is more a little bit slightly formal, but you can use, you know, uh, both word. Okay. Uh, but you can use them. Uh, you can use the two. Uh, li you can replace them. Okay. Okay. Uh, need uh, everybody need to work hard. Yes, everybody. Please ask um, anyone. Is there anyone? Anybody. Please ask anybody to clean the kitchen. Mm, uh, I don't know. Everybody. Ev yeah, I think it's anybody. Uh, no, no. Uh, anybody? Yes, anybody. Anyone? Anybody? It's the same. Like somebody and someone. So. One yes, one is a little bit formal, a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit uh, formal and not too close. Okay, so uh, going back uh, to the story, do you have any particular word or vocabulary that you think is confusing to use? Yeah. Do you have you found any word that you you feel is confusing to use? Do you, uh, difficult word. I mean, miserable. Okay. Miserable. Oh yeah. Uh, about the this is a little bit important too. Uh, stress in each syllable right see so if you how do you know uh, in which syllable is stress in the word how do you know them how do you know this like miserable miserable so it is stress the first syllable one how, yeah miserable The first syllable. How do you know it is stress in the first syllable or the second? How do you know? Okay, 
Okay, so maybe yeah, maybe some word you can use this theory, but not every word. Anyway, um, so you you mean um, prefixes and suffixes, right? Okay. Um, so miserable. Um, there are some rules, but sometimes it, it doesn't work. Um, for example, station, you would stress at just before station, right? Station, st station, police, police station. So you would need know a little bit of rules that it is to stress that. But anyway, the best way is listen more and and the dictionary help okay dictionary like oxford dictionaries they they got this um the sound of english the phonetic phonetic you can read and they mark which syllable should be uh stress when you read anyway can you make a sentence for miserable Miserable, miserable. Okay. Even if it again, please, it will be gone. It will be gone. Yeah. Uh, our life is miserable. Even miserable life. Miserable life. Okay, okay, good. Not bad, okay. Um, let's have a look. Uh, the session today, I think it went smoothly. You were not nervous or anything. You were, you, you spoke smoothly, right? Not very intensely, like last time. Last time was a little bit intense. Last time was a little bit intense because we talk about politics and a little bit too deep. Okay, this lesson went well. Um, bird control. Uh, yeah, I I would just give you uh, a suggestion about um, yeah word or syllable stress. Okay. Good sentence were made. Um, to, I to listen to the old bad. I have no. I can listen to following. You can say depends on my mood, right? Not following my mood, yeah. Not not following my mood. Uh, Following, I follow. You can say I follow my mood. Oh, okay. This is fine. But following my mood is mm, understandable. But no, I never heard it. But it's understandable. Oh. It, you you can say oh, it depends on my mood. Um, like something like um, depends on my mood. Mean uh, wherever my mood goes, I. I follow my mood or my heart. It's quite the same. Okay. Uh, can you read uh, fragile, please? Fragile. Fragile. Gile. Yeah. Gile. Fragile. Okay, not bad. Okay, not bad. So, okay, fragile. Uh, can you summarize a little bit what things you have learned from this session?
indefinite. Yeah, in. They are, yeah, they are pronoun. Do you know pronouns are easy to pronoun? They, yeah, it's a proper pronoun, a type of a pronoun, but uh, not very particular, right? It just, it yeah, it's not particular. It demonstrate me, you know. It, I think most language have this thing. Most languages, hu you know, m um, including Thai language, have it. But it's whether you know or you don't know. But you you have to learn it because you are you are learning it for a second language, right? But if you speak every day like Thai language, you you don't have to unless you want to be uh, a teacher in Thai language. You know, so we, we have we need a little bit of theories. Okay, or grandma, I should say. Uh, okay, um, it's done and it went smoothly. You, you were not stressed <laughs> like last time. Is this is this na a li yeah more natural today today this session? And I haven't got you know much. Um, haven't got so much comment. Yeah, do you have any question? Okay, then I'll let you go. Good timing, and then um, I'll see you again next time. And it's good. I think you went smoothly, partially because you have reviewed before the session. Yeah. So if have you if you review before the session. It makes the session run smoothly, and you can speak more naturally. Okay. Uh, okay, and you can open dictionary for uh, word stress. Okay, if you want to. All right, I have to say goodbye. I'll let you go and take a rest. I will see you next time. Bye bye for today. Bye bye. You too. Have a good evening. Bye bye.